Australian hip. The Australian Human Rights Commission, who have already free-kicked a million-dollar case to the opposition in a super case, now has to re-intervene by stopping my <coughs> prejudice and discrimination at the AAT next Wednesday, so I'm going to call them. It's going around in circles. Uh, where's the number? 1300. Six, four, six, four, nine. Your call is important to us and will be answered by the next available information officer. The Australian Human Rights Commission can investigate and try to resolve complaints about discrimination because of a person's race disability, sex, gender identity, sexual orientation, intersex status, pregnancy, marital or relationship status, family responsibilities or age in certain areas of public life. This includes employment, education, providing goods and services and accommodation. We can also deal with complaints about sexual harassment and racial hatred. Our laws also cover discrimination Oh, hello. I'm sorry. I missed your name there for a second. Yeah, my name's Tolunda. Tolunda. Hi, Tolunda. How are you? This is Barry. Hi, Barry. I'm well, thanks. How can I help? Well, I've got an issue that's coming up very soon. Um, I'm a person who identifies with a disability, and um, I have... Um, well, it's a difficult thing. My work cover case is going to the AAT, uh, or it already has, and it's having a directions hearing on the 30th of this month, next Wednesday. Um, now, prior to this, um, I had actually suffered detriment from many government agencies, and that caused me to suicide in a public hospital. Um, I say suicide still talking because the freedom of information from the hospital says it was a lethal attempt and a fatal injury. So I won't go into the boy with all the details of the systemic oppression. However, um, the AAT and HCF, my insurer, um, have rejected um, my work cover claim and my income assist claim when I was character assassinated um, and discriminated against for having a disability um, at um, my work. It was rendered illegitimate and I realized I was framed and I took some sick leave and both HCF uh, and also AFCA refused to pay me out um, overdue determinations which they're legally bound to do within four weeks for a marginalized person. Now all this is very complicated but my main issue this week is my work cover case is going to um, a directions hearing at the Administrative Appeals Tribunal on Wednesday. Now the government has already literally oppressed me to death and then an ombudsman actually covered that up as well as um, other agents, uh, Mental Health Complaints Commissioner and Health Complaints Commissioner as innocuous and nothing to see despite it um, um, contravening um, their duty of care and my human rights charter because it was an agreed illegal contraband that I committed the suicide with. So my immediate concern is that my work cover case is now a TPD, well likely a TPD, but because I've been so character assassinated over years, from that suicide I have not seen one psychologist and it's been an entire year. 
And um, that's more than about pelvic mental health system. That is a methodology to delay, defer and deny any help or justice in the hope that I kill myself. Now, on Wednesday, my case goes before the Administrative Appeals Tribunal and I have begged and pleaded with them because they have already got a 25 year experienced lawyer who knows the litigation backwards. And I don't even understand with a brain injury why they're rejecting it. I don't understand it. And they're forcing me to go through the directions hearing when the Charter of Human Rights for People with Disabilities states I must not be exploited and I must not um, have inequitable access to the law. And it also states that, <coughs> sorry, I can't be taken advantage of or all those things. That is enshrined in the legislation of this country. Now, I am a particularly interesting character in that I've been oppressed by so many organisations. I've now been rendered a innocuous vagrant. I'm homeless and a, um, a scapegoat and a refugee in my own democracy. That is because I cannot go to police to report rape, murder, tax fraud, money laundering, conspiracy to prefer the course of justice, anything. I can't be a whistleblower at APRA, at ASIC, at the Commonwealth Ombudsman. I can't get a lawyer. For the last 30 years, I haven't had a lawyer. There is something that's happening behind the scenes, which I know, I think what it is, that is rendering me unable to access prosperity. And further, because of the suicide over a year ago, for which I have not got help, was rejected my medication, was put on job seeker, and um, then I begged for a pension because um, I can't think properly because I lost all my blood and my hippocampus has, the memory has gone. Um, I've lived in abject poverty for an entire year. Um, but my immediate case is the directions hearing on Wednesday could be the tipping point of losing about $2 million. I have no agency to go to the police. I have no agency to get a lawyer. I have no, I've tried, I've begged them, I've showed them the law and said, you are not allowed as public officials to act opposing legal right, uh, the human legal rights and the charter for human rights of people with a disability because it's law in this country. It was ratified in 2008. So what am I supposed to do? Um, I, I, I have already predicted that I would lose another case um, actually at your organisation, the Australian Human Rights Commission, because um, uh, I, I was... I had a conciliation with you guys with a superannuation company who discriminated against me and the conciliator um, at Australian Human Rights Commission actually free kicked uh, the, the other company said they weren't going to do it anymore. So, so the Australian Human Rights Commission actually free kicked that TPD and income assist case freely without explaining the law to the opposition. So I lost a million and a half dollars there. That was the fault of the Australian Human Rights Centre. But, and then there was the um, case of um, HCF, my insurer, who didn't pay me out. 
And then there was the case of AFCA. There was from one to two and a half million dollars of overdue determinations. And they, um, they, they've cancelled them all. Um, cause I called them out for being conspiratorial and, and now I'm going to the AAT and they are well aware that they're breaking the law, but I don't have any dignity, any rights. I'm abused, oppressed and gaslighted. I have actually written to Makelia Cash, the, um, attorney general and I told her of the corruption at Comcare and all of this stuff that I've just told you and all of the systemic organizations and statutory organizations that are under her portfolio. Now I explained it in great detail and she emailed me back via proxy by someone else who had no name and sent me to the same helpline. Pardon? Which helpline was that that she sent you to? Oh, it was Lifeline or the Sane Australia Helpline or something. Sane, sorry, I said Sane. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Alright, so taking um, that, I'm going to let you raise multiple issues. You've got to deal with them one at a time. So, I'm hearing that your main concern is the upcoming AAT direction on Wednesday. That's correct, because it's illegal for me to have unequal access to the law yeah. and now they've got a 25 year strong lawyer who's already um who's defending the government but the government's behind this whole thing to to literally who's literally aided and abetted my death and then covered it up with an ombudsman anyway i'm gonna lose because the attorney general already knows about it and she won't do anything Oh, where do I start? There, there's a, um, there's a, 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 um, conspiracy to pervert the course of justice. By who? By who? Well, I've mentioned all the statutory authorities and the corruption going up to the attorney general, the finance minister. I haven't told you the whole story yet, but, um, it's absolutely systemic. There is no way in hell that a person who has been a public advocate for 20 years and had public roles in newspapers, human rights award winning book. And, um, actually I had Sane's book of the year, um, could, could not go to police, not be a whistleblower and not get a lawyer. It, it's preposterous. But, yeah, I, I definitely hear what you're saying in terms of it being systemic. Um, but the, the way our complaint handling mechanism kind of works is that you do have to lodge it against someone or an organisation. Um, so I'm just wondering if you had someone kind of focused in mind that you would be seeking to complain against. Well, I've got one thing to say first. What if I had a beef about the Australian Human Rights Commission? Like, where would I go? I'd go to the attorney, uh, I'd go to the, um, um, the ombudsman. But I'm already framed from the ombudsman. They're acting with impunity to um, defile me of any prosperity. And I have suffered great detriment, not only in money, but I've been framed. I've lost my friends. I've lost my family. I'm now brain damaged. And I'm just about to lose, predictably, as I predicted APRA. HCF and Australian Human Rights Centre, I'm about to lose $1.5 million. So I would like the um, Australian Human Rights Commission to acknowledge that as a person with a disability, there is a charter of human rights and disability law. The AAT as public officials are bound by that. They are not allowed to go forward with this action legally. Yeah, so in terms of the United Nations Convention on the Rights of People with Disabilities, we do administer that. So in terms of making a complaint of human rights breaches, um, if you wanted to raise or assert your rights against, um, sorry, under, I should say, the Convention of the Rights of People with Disabilities, it would be open for you to do that, of course. 
Well, it has to be fast because it's happening next Wednesday. The AAT. Um, right, okay. So and Makelia Cash. And I could name other people too. The Finance Minister, Birmingham, the Prime Minister. I could name this NDIA, Senator Reynolds. There's so many people I could name. They're all in it together. Well, I'll um, do it against the AAT. With respect to the complaints about the AAT, um, it really depends what specific act you're complaining about. The reason I say that is because the AAT is a very complex thing and it's not easy to do the work that it's I've already got three decisions from the AAT and they keep pushing it along, strangling me, delaying, deferring and denying and watching me suffer. I've lived in abject poverty. They owe me work cover. So out of that whole story and the apex of it losing a million and a half dollars as a brain damaged, mentally ill, homeless person, you're saying they've got immunity from the law and you're the Australian Human Rights Commission. Is that correct? We are the Australian Human Rights Commission. Um, and you exercise um, the Charter of Human Rights Against People with Disabilities and you exercise that right and you actually lay down the law because you are an independent statutory organisation and you are supposed to deal that out systemically and further that is supposed to be legislated into law and it actually says in the legislation in the Crimes Act that um, public officials of of public standing, including police officers, including judicial people, including everyone else, should actually um, never go outside the boundaries of the human rights law, and they should never go outside the boundaries of um, the Charter for Human Rights and People with Disabilities, because in actual fact, it's signed and ratified by the government. And now you're telling me as a public official that this other official has got immunity. And by doing that, you're actually denying my rights. So it depends on what specific act you're talking about from the tribunal member or the tribunal. You see, member. and there we go again. I'm not a lawyer. I'm a brain damaged, mentally ill, homeless person. No, I'd like to just get an acknowledgement right now that you're going to stand in the way, either today or tomorrow, and send the AAT a letter saying we're the Australian Human Rights Commission. We put in place and exercise this law for statutory people with a disability, and we're halting the meeting in which the government has a 25-year lawyer, and Richard is a brain-damaged person who has suicided from government oppression already, and you were taking advantage of him and discriminating against him. That's what I want you to do. I direct you to do that, please. Fortunately, we're not going to be able to do that. A few issues. Um, we're not able to make a determination as to whether or not um, discrimination has occurred. Um, with respect to... 
Oh, can you take a stab in the dark, doll, about what's what's been going on? Can you can you just take a big wide berth guess and guess guess what's going on for me, doll? Discrimination, right? <laughs> Well, I haven't got five days. Yeah, I appreciate that, which means we're probably not the best body for you to be speaking to. If you need help... You know what? The Australian Human Rights Commission... Can I have your name, please? Yep, my name's Tallulah. Tallulah? Tallulah who? We don't give last names. You don't give last names. Gee, isn't that interesting about how complicit pen-pushing government whores paid like hookers to toe the party line to keep me oppressed are sitting in their privilege are sitting in their privilege and they reject me you've just rejected me on an extremely um awful awful topic and 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 a heinous discrimination and you're saying you're not the best body or you're saying that like the the it's going to take too long all I need you to do is say, this is the law, you're not allowed to go forward with it. What's too, too hard about that? There may have been a misunderstanding. I was trying to explain the law and the complaint handling power that we have to you. Um, I'm happy to go on, but um, we'll have to use the structural language, otherwise I will terminate the call. I'll be polite. Look, I was just commenting on the fact that government bureaucrats who are in government are systemically opposed to me. And they're paid money to protect these people in positions of privilege and power. I am an exploitable person and I have a mental illness. I'm gay. I'm brain damaged. I've used drugs in the past. I've been framed from everything from a rapist to a pedophile and a dog rooter. Now, and an extortionist. Now, what chance do you think of me being character assassinated? And, and I, can't, I can't believe, well, actually, actually, I can believe it. I shouldn't be surprised that all government agencies, especially the Australian Human Rights Commission, having already free kicked a million dollar case to the opposition, like uh, this is after I came out of hospital. And further, they actually advocated your company or your inst statutory authority body. Um, I complained to you guys about my suicide in hospital with an agreed illegal contraband that was um, had malpractice in it. It had human rights abuses. It was illegal and a government ombudsman condoned it and so did you. In addition, you also condoned um, a, a, a dispute which took ages to get to a conciliation and the other party decides to leave. So you send me a letter with all this legislation I don't understand that says it's no longer on and I lose a million and a half dollars. So in actual fact, I, I, in actual fact, it's folding in on itself because the Australian Human Rights Commission are not actually a human rights commission at all, are they? They're just a body to sit there, to um, dabble around and pretend they're actually looking after people when you can literally see people camping out on the streets, people are beaten up, people are raped, people are murdered. What do you actually do there? We administer federal discrimination law and take complaints about that and complaints of human rights breaches. Do you think I have a human rights breach in that whole story that I just told you? Um, so in terms of your particular situation, the assistance that you're seeking, um, it doesn't sound like we're the best body to be helping you out with it, no. Well, if you're not the best body to help me out, who on earth could help me out, seeing as I can't go to a lawyer, 
I have no money, I'm homeless, I'm brain damaged, I can't go to the ombudsman, and I can't go as a whistleblower. Where do you expect me to go if not to you? You know what? That's the most preposterous thing I've ever heard if you've known my existential experience because I've tried my best to reach out to law people for the best part of 25 years. And I am catastrophically character assassinated. I don't want the letter, I don't want the referral line to um, Victorian Legal Aid. I don't want a referral to Justice Connect. I don't want a referral to your lawyer. I don't want a referral to VOCAT, who's also um, discriminated against me and I lost two VOCAT cases. And um, I think I've proven, even though I'm brain damaged and I'm forgetful and can hardly form my words, that I've just proven beyond reasonable doubt that the Australian Human Rights Commission are actually a part of the conspiracy that has aided and abetted my death and they have ruined my finances. And now I've brought all this up and tell you, and you tell me it's not appropriate. You tell me the law doesn't work. You tell me people have got um, excuses. And then you tell me to go to a lawyer. I'm a homeless, brain dead, mentally ill, angry, scapegoated, gaslighted, and systemically oppressed and character assassinated person. What do you have to say to me, please? Not too sure what else I can do to help you. Could you apologize? Well, it's clear I've got human rights abuses that are systemic from many people over years and years and years. Now, you as the Australian Human Rights Commission, I mean, you could, you could apologize, I don't know, for not being able to help me today. You could apologize for making excuses. You could apologize for being complicit and eating the steak and prawns and champagne while I eat bread. And you can reject yeah, me. Right. You can reject me. That's that's a position of privilege that you're in. And I'm a marginalised person and you're the Australian Human Rights Commission and you refuse to act for me in any way whatsoever and you've referred me to some lawyer. That's just great. I've recorded this conversation without your permission because it's the only way I'm going to be able to take this to the Federal Circuit Court of Australia and hold you all accountable. Bitch.